Now with your storm team weather, here's Chris Ramirez. Welcome back. Chris Ramirez has uh, an update for us. Yes, I do. So it's going to be hot. And that's something that's, you know, I like that, we're, we're used to that. But it's going to get a little bit hotter for the end of the week. Going to get up to possibly getting up to 108 probably to the end of the week. Oh, no. I'm not looking forward Isn't to that. Isn't that breaking another record? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I haven't really looked into it. We won't find out until it actually hits that once it happens. So we'll be getting to, we'll wait and see what's going to happen. But today, right now, the current radar is showing relatively clear skies right now. We did have some isolated thunderstorms make its way in the northern portions of the Contra Valley just about an hour or two ago. But we're looking at pretty clear uh, skies right now at, as we go into this overnight hours. But we're looking at the temperatures over the last 24 hours. We're on this trend of getting hotter. We did with that cloud cover today, probably cloudy skies for most of the day as we headed throughout the day today. And then those clouds started to get a little bit more thick as we headed into these overnight hours. But we can expect those to clear out as we head into tomorrow morning. But right now we're sitting at 93 degrees. Feels like 90. Humidity's at 26%. Winds moving south, southeast at 9 miles an hour. In the last 24 hours, we're definitely dealing with these fairly warm temperatures. We got down to 76 last night. And today's high was actually 102 degrees. And then, of course, we're getting down into the 70s as we get into this evening. But right now we're currently seeing the possibility for some over more over uh, higher than average temperatures right now. Our high was 102 degrees today. Our average is usually around 95 degrees. So we're going to start seeing these uh, above average temperatures as we head throughout the week. But that's not as hot as 1933 as we saw our record set there with 109 degrees on this day. Uh, as we look into the next couple of days. Current temperatures across the state of Texas, 79 in Amarillo. They're dealing with a front that's coming through there, so they're dealing with more cooler temperatures. 83 in Lubbock, 85 in Abilene, sitting at 71 in Marfa, and closer to where you live, sitting in the upper 80s to low 90s still at this time at night for us here in the Concho Valley. And so we're going to start seeing our temperatures relatively get uh, down to the upper 70s as we head into the overnight hours with the mostly cloudy conditions coming back into the picture as we get into tomorrow morning. And then we're looking at the possibility for some showers to start making its way through the northern areas of the Concho Valley. I know the, the RPM, this model, is actually showing that we're going to get some rain here, but I think that most of this activity is going to stick way to the north with temps getting to 82 degrees as we head into tomorrow night. But we are going to have those breezy conditions with wind at 11 miles an hour as we go into the next couple of days. But right now, our current satellite radar is showing a high-pressure system sitting off towards the panhandle. Like I mentioned, they're dealing with that front that's making its way through the panhandle. It's causing a little bit more cooler temperatures for us folks up in the panhandle. High pressure system sitting off into the Gulf of Mexico. But we're going to be dealing with this Sahara dust that's going to be coming through Texas. And it's going to be interesting to see how far west it's going to make it. Because I know southeast Texas and north Texas are going to get some fairly hazy conditions as we head into the next couple of days. So it's going to be interesting to see if they we're going to start seeing this. But tomorrow we're going to be hot. East Texas is going to be hot and hazy, and we're going to have a disturbance off to our west that's going to maintain showers, possibility for some showers off to our far west Texas and nearing the panhandle. And looking at the week, we're ending the week. We're going to see these very hot temperatures take place for the next couple of days, getting up to 104 degrees in San Angelo for Wednesday and then getting down up to 106 and possibly getting to up to 108 degrees, very uh, hot temperatures as we get into the end of the week. But tonight we're getting down to 76 mostly clear and breezy. Sunday, we're going to get up to 101. It's going to be hot. It's another hot one, but the 10% chance of isolated showers. But for us folks in Brady, they're not going to hit the 100-degree mark. It's possibly going to get to 97 degrees, mostly sunny, but still relatively hot. And for our seven-day forecast, we're going to see our temperatures maintain this warming trend from the hundreds all the way to up to 107 degrees from Friday and Saturday with mostly sunny skies for most of the week. We'll be right back.